Hi, I'm Eric Rempel from Scribe Connect. Today, we're going to take a look at a virtual patient scenario, otherwise known as a VPS here at Scribe Connect. These VPSs are what we consider as ideally documented medical scribe charts. They're to give you an example of what a medical scribe chart would look like in a physician's office. Now these are virtual patient scenarios and they're samples, they aren't real, so there's no HIPAA issues here. This week we're going to go into an internal medicine office and we're going to see a dermatology patient who's being seen for a checkup for some skin rashes and lesions and all that fun stuff. Here we go. A 65 year old female inquires about changing skin lesions and lower back rash. Hello, welcome back. So I see on your chart that you've been noticing some changing skin problems that you want to get checked out during today's visit. Yes, being born and raised in Southern California is great until you realize you have to have skin checks regularly when you're older. Are you followed by a dermatologist? Yes, I do. I see Dr. Yu yearly. However, my next appointment with her is around six months from today. Okay, let's talk about the lower back rash that you've been experiencing. How long has this been going on? Have you had any rash similar to this before in the past? Around three weeks. I first noticed a rash after I went to the beach. Not sure if going to that beach that day caused a rash or not. It's extremely itchy, and I feel like the itchiness has gotten worse in the last week. I've never had a rash like this before. Is it worse at certain times of the day? I would say it's worse in the morning. I'm able to sleep after applying cortisone cream, thankfully. Applying hot compresses also helps distract me from my itching sensation. Let's take a look at this rash. Mm, scribe, please note several small three inches by two inch erythematous circular raised papules in the lower back region. Sounds good. This is likely a case of dermatitis versus a fungal rash. Scribe, please add the diagnosis of dermatitis, but in the plan, write out the differential diagnosis. I'm going to prescribe you an antifungal cream to apply for one month. It should clear afterwards. Thank you so much. On the physical exam, I also noticed several actinic keratoses on your forehead and separate keratoses on your right arm. Scribe, please note two light tan, waxy, scaly, and slightly raised lesions consistent with SKs on the patient's right arm. In addition, please note two rough, scaly patches of skin on forehead consistent with AKs. Are these anything to worry about? SKs are benign and common, so they don't have to be removed. However, actinic keratoses are also very common, but they can turn into squamous cell skin cancer. They are caused by UV damage to the skin. I can remove it today with liquid nitrogen if you have time. Sure, that would be great. Okay, close your eyes. I don't want to spray them with liquid nitrogen. I'll treat the two AKs on your forehead. These will most likely flake off in a few days, revealing new skin. Scribe, please document that the area was first cleansed with ethanol and then liquid nitrogen was sprayed afterwards in the procedure check section of the chart. Also, make sure that it is written under the AK diagnosis as well. Got it. Thank you. That's all my concerns from, for this visit. Doctor, what was the name of the cream that you'll be prescribing? Oh, I forgot. I will be prescribing triamcinolone. If this does not work, we will try an alternative steroid cream. Please call our office if your rash does not clear after applying this for one month consistently. Don't forget to wear sunscreen. See you next time.